headed to sunrise, baby, what we gonna do? So today I'm gonna go over some of my previous video just for the fun of it, for absolutely no reason. Call it reacting to previous videos, I don't know. Some of them, not all of them, right? Like a quick one, just this much. It's a Rolex, man. And even if you're not a Rolex fan, even if it's not something that really excites you, you. So we've got one over here that I've done last on the 1908. So every year with Rolex, they change the bezel color. They switch up the oyster bracelet to Jubilee and vice versa on the same exact model. And we call that the chain. It's never been that exciting. This year, however, we've seen some serious stuff. This was by far the most exciting year I've seen personally for Rolex. And when I look across the board on all of their releases, yes, it is still the funky dial colors on the oyster perpetuals on the day dates we've seen that that's cool the full gold jubilee on the gmt you know i think that's awesome but where i really 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 saw the change is the 1908 right because that's a fresh new release to me that was by far the most exciting this is when rolex said hey we're still a crazy ass watchmaker and this is our classic version the explorer is an absolutely kick-ass release i obviously knew it was a yacht master a full titanium explorer i got carried away and i kept voicing it out now they've given us a wearable size over and over and over again they've rectified it right i think i would love to see it in a 39 millimeter case size because in my mind i kept thinking about how nice a full titanium explorer would look like and i got roasted in the comments as i should but it would have been nice to see a full titanium explorer explorer one that is $100,000 watch collection, the rarest Richard meal ever, one of one. This was one of the very, very early videos I've done on the channel. It was three years ago. Watch Society three years ago. We just have this in. It's one of one. Wow. This is one of one in the world. Yes, it's for it one. And there was a lot of comments on this video about how bad the videography was. At the time, I was new to holding a camera. I didn't even believe in microphones. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just legging it. And that was my brother-in-law behind the camera. He also had no prior experience with cameras. I just asked him for a favor to hold the camera and he did. And even though it was a bad videography quality, that is by far the most viewed video on the channel to date. This is the cycle, man. We learn and we get better at things and you know, the quality is a lot better now to a young youtuber at the time go easy on these comments man that was scary yeah exactly you have to replace it yeah someone said move mom blood down to the bottom of the wall i mean i like their pens yeah their pens are cool i own a few of them but i agree with you changes compared to the previous versions and yeah. plus keep in mind that the next year it will not be it will be 51st anniversary will look i am personally no longer a fan of this brand but another video basically was when i voiced how i feel about ap or how i felt about ap at the time in the beginning of the video basically Khaled, the owner of luxury souk said i'm referring to four brands most people assume the market is these four brands they refer to the well as he mentioned the Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, AP and Richard Mille the Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, AP and Richard Mille I'm not gonna lie that was some funny stuff in my mind when I was sitting and listening to him I actually thought he mentioned all four brands right four different brands AP, Patek, Richard Mille and Rolex because I knew what he meant the Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, AP and Richard Mille but you know, sometimes you're just so focused on what you want to say, you know, you slip, man, it's all good. I absolutely love this watch. There is a lot of thoughts on this watch not being for everyone, and I can appreciate that. I can understand one. Hold on, let me just get it really quickly. 56, man, such an elegant, unique looking watch. I mean, look at this guy. It's just a beautiful watch. You don't see it every day. You don't see it in this combination every day. And I just like that fact. To the naked eye, it does look like the Patek Philippe 4947 slash 1A. The bracelet does look like it, but they're completely different. Interesting, unique watch it's just easy it's not as hyped obviously as the overseas and the triple twos and all of this amazing stuff but i like it right sometimes you just want to kind of wear what you like right so you don't necessarily have to have the hype dictate your collecting philosophy if i could say so i wanted to talk about the jlc's and the reverses and something i'll do in the next video but to be honest i'm not really feeling so enthusiastic about watches this week or the past two weeks Due to the fact of what's happening in Sudan, right? So I'm Sudanese national. That is my home country. I've never been. My ignorance is painful. But I cannot deny what is going on right now, right? So when the issue happened with Ukraine, the whole world was talking about it. They're still talking about it. So I'm not saying charities and support because you can't even get money into Sudan if you wanted to, to help out people, right? But if you talk about it, just mention it. That's enough support. As a fellow Sudanese national, I had to put that out, man. I can't, I can't just be completely blinded to the fact that my own home country is going through a lot of shit right now.